to Sabbath school. My name's Leo. What's your name? Hi, my name is Harold, and I will be telling you today about George Washington Carver, a famous inventor and scientist. George was born during a very difficult time for black people in the United States. He and his family were enslaved on the land of Moses and Suzanne Carver. Slavery means that George and most black people in America at that time could not choose what to do, where to go, or whether to go to school or not. They were forced to work without being paid and were treated like pets or tools and not like people. This was very unfair and very unkind. While George was a baby, his parents were taken away. But when laws were finally made to end slavery, Mr. and Mrs. Carver raised a little George and his older brother James as their own children. Mrs. Carver taught George to read and write. And when he was 12 years old, he moved away to go to school. That's because schools nearby would not teach black students. After high school, George bought some land where he grew many fruits and vegetables and collected interesting rocks. He learned to play the piano and to paint. The pictures of the plants he grew were so beautiful and detailed that a woman he met suggested he should go to college and become a botanist. A botanist is a scientist who studies plants. Eventually, George became a college professor and also traveled around the country teaching farmers better ways to grow their crops. Many of them had grown lots of cotton plants, which pulled too much nitrogen out of the ground. Nitrogen is a molecule that helps plants and animals to grow healthy and strong. It is in the air and the dirt. Cotton had made it difficult for anything to grow. But George taught his students and farmers that certain plants like sweet potatoes, soybeans, and peanuts could take nitrogen from the air and put it in the soil. By switching back and forth between cotton and plants that give nitrogen back, it's called plant rotation. And this helped farmers grow more food and save money from not having to buy expensive fertilizers. Even the president asked George how to help the country by caring for plants and nature. When George was 10 years old, he had learned about prayer from a neighbor boy while working in his barn. As soon as the boy left, George knelt down to pray. And that's how he became a Christian. Throughout his life, George also taught the Bible and said that Jesus was the one who gave him wisdom to discover and to do everything that he did. He believed that people could study science and still have faith in God. God protected George through a rough beginning and used him to make the world a better place. Hi, my name is Kaden, coming to you from Texas. I follow Jesus because he created me. Join me in, in singing, I will follow you.
today's memory verse will be in Luke 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. Do you know someone that other people don't like? Do you think Jesus likes that person? What would you do if no one liked you? People did not like Zacchaeus. Why didn't people like Zacchaeus? Because of his job. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He took extra money from poor people to make himself rich. That's stealing and people didn't like it. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus loved everybody. I wonder if Jesus loves me, he thought to himself. No, Jesus couldn't love me. I took people's money. Do you think Jesus loves Zacchaeus? Of course he did, because Jacobus loves everybody. Zacchaeus decided that he would not cheat people anymore. He wanted to be like Jesus. He said he was sorry to the people and started to give back the money that he had wrongly taken. But the people still didn't like Zacchaeus. They didn't believe him. They wouldn't even let him come to church. Zacchaeus was sad and discouraged. One day Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to Jericho. That was his town. Oh, he just had to see Jesus. Jesus had changed his heart, and Jesus would understand how Zacchaeus felt. He was a short man, so he couldn't see over the tops of people's heads. He was going to miss seeing Jesus. He turned and quickly climbed up a nearby tree. Higher and higher he climbed so that he could see better. Then he saw Jesus coming. Suddenly, Jesus stopped right under that tree. He looked up at Zacchaeus and said, "Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today." The people were so surprised. <gasps> They couldn't believe that Jesus would want to go to Zacchaeus's house, to the house of a cheater. Zacchaeus hopped out of that tree and took Jesus home with him. Now he knew that he was forgiven. He knew that Jesus loved him. Jesus told Zacchaeus's whole family how much he loved them and wanted them to be a part of his family. Jesus told them that he had come to earth to save everyone, including them. Zacchaeus wanted to do things the way Jesus did. He looked at Jesus and said, "I want to give half of my money to the poor. To the people that I've cheated, I want to give back four times as much as I took. I want to love everybody the way you do." Jesus was happy that Zacchaeus felt that he was a part of God's family. Jesus wants us to feel a part of God's family too. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Charles and I'll be doing today's craft. The materials that you'll need are two sheets of regular or construction paper, one pencil or pen, one pair of safety scissors, one glue stick, crayons or markers. There are many different construction sheets you could use or regular paper sheets you can use, but I chose construction and a blue construction paper for the background for a blue background for the sky. I use white paper so that when I draw Zacchaeus, it will be easy for all of you guys to see. Okay, well, you you will need to fold one of your sheets of paper. What you do is you fold it in half once, and then you fold it in half again, and you fold it in half three times. You just kind of press on the edge, and you unfold it. And I folded it so that when you draw Zacchaeus, he'll be small enough to fit inside of the tree that you're going to draw. So what you want to do is you want to draw a circle for his head first. There. And next, you want to draw the knees. Just like a little bit down. The knees, so you're doing like a kind of U shape, U shape upside down U or a rainbow shape, and then you want to just put a thing, put a line in the middle, and then you're gonna draw shoes. So it's just like this. Just draw, draw shoes. Just do a curve out and a line back in. And you do a line from the top of the knees in the sun in the middle, and you just do a line down, just like that. The next thing you want to do is do the neck. You just draw two lines from the knees, about like kind of right above the knees in the center of each knee. So like right here, and right here on each knee. And the next thing you want to do is from the neck. Do another long, longer kind of rainbow that connects the, the, from the neck all the way down, down to the sh okay. down to the shoe, and then you do that again to the shoe. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you draw a line above the head, and then you cut. Just curve it, do a line back, and then you do a line right on the, on the forehead, and you draw a half circle above the headband you just made. Next thing you want to do is the face, a smiley face, a nose, eyes. You can make the eyes however you want, however big you want, if you have enough room. The next thing you want to do is from the corner of the neck that connects from here to here, you want to draw just a uh, U that connects to the other side, like that. And then the last, the last thing, you want to do is just draw from the middle, kind of the middle of the knee on the side. Just draw a little, a little curve. Then you draw the same thing on the other side. And then you can color your Zacchaeus whatever color you want. Okay, once you're finished coloring, you want to cut them out. So. Ask an adult to help you get to cutting them out. Once you cut him out, set him down. Okay, now you, that you've done that. But you, now that you've done that, fold the part that has eight pieces. Fold it once, and then fold it one more time. Put the end through the top. Pull it. Zacchaeus. 
all the way around. And then glue the end to that uses head. Just have the head. If you pull the back of the paper up top like this, you climb the tree. Again, he was trying to see you. And when you just call him, you can pull it back him back down. Like when she just said, Zacchaeus, come Zacchaeus, come down. And that's the craft. My name is Preston and today I have a question. If Noah made the ark in the middle of the desert, how did he get all that gopher wood? Hey Preston, great question. The question is, if Noah's ark was built in the desert, where was the gopher wood? That is an amazing question. When you look back to the book of Genesis, you understand in the story is being told, there is Noah called to build an ark. He's told it's gonna rain. What's rain? Never seen it before. But God makes provision out of places we never expected to be. So when you're wondering if in the desert, where's wood, where's rain, where's all the provision? God made a way. And around them in the specific area in which they live, gopher wood was available for them. So it may not have been right there, but it was not too far where they were able to go cut some limb, some timber and be able to make the ark that God had given them with the specifications that were right. I hope that answers your question. I think you can find this story in Genesis 6. So have a great one and have a great day.